question here, trigonometry question, easily answered with the unit circle. Find an angle theta with theta between 0 and 360 degrees that has the same sine function as the sine of 230 degrees and the same cosine function as the value of the cosine of 230 degrees. So when we are uh, measuring angles, we always start with their initial position here. And in math, we go counterclockwise. So that would be 180 degrees and 50 degrees more to take us to 230. So that would be as to here. So if I just go ahead and delete that so I can neat it up, neaten it up. So let me put in the terminal line here. So this would be our terminal line here. And it was 50 degrees more than 180. So this angle here is 50. And if I make that into my little triangle here, I just put my two points in. And this here would be my x coordinate of my point, this being my point here. And this would be my y coordinate. So they're saying the sine of the 230 degrees. So sine, again, we should maybe just jot down here, saw, and we will need cosine. So I'll put the care. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So from my 50 degrees opposite, that's the y coordinate. And my hypotenuse, remember unit circle, this hypotenuse is just one. So really my sine of 230 degrees, and I've got it marked here as 50, is this part here, it was 180 plus 50, is just going to be my y coordinate because my hypotenuse is 1. So we need to find another point on this circle where the y coordinate is the same as our point here. And I think you can see if I just sketch over here, this point here does indeed have the exact same y coordinate. And I'll just switch pen colors here. If I was to draw a line from the origin, this would be my 50 degrees here. 50 degrees. There's my little triangle here. So that would be negative 50 degrees. And they do want an answer between 0 and 360. So what we have to do. We have to, if you like, go 360 and then back 50. So it would be 360 minus 50, which is 310 degrees. Sorry, that's my degree sign. Too small, I think, for me to track there. Um, the next one here, I asked about the cosine. So let me um, maybe erase some of this here. We don't need this. This was for the sine part. So there we go. We'll get rid of some of that. So a cosine, let's remember the ka, so adjacent over hypotenuse. So from our 50 degrees here, which remember is the 180 plus a 50, our adjacent is the x coordinate of the point, And the hypotenuse, again, is this one unit radius. So the cosine of 230 degrees is indeed just going to be our x-coordinate. So we're looking for another point on the circle that has the same x-coordinate as our point here. And I think you can see it right up here. This is going to be our point right here. And if I join this up, this is going to be our 50 degrees here. So we've got 180 minus 50. So for this part, it's going to be 180 minus 50 degrees, which is indeed just 130. So hope that helps you with the problem.